because you don't really have a choice. You can't do anything else. You can't continue carrying your past with you and hate yourself and hate other people. You're not going to get anywhere with that. You will stay in this realm of thoughts, this realm of mind, this realm of suffering. You will keep suffering. You will keep hating. You will keep being angry. You will keep staying the victim. You will keep dwelling on taking revenge. At one point, you have to give it up. At one point, you have to become innocent and start coming back to the essence of who you are. At one point, you have to come to this place that you don't know anything. You don't have an idea of anything. You are here and you're surrendered. You surrender yourself. And ask love to take over you. Ask love to operate through you, wash you and cleanse you. And you begin that with one simple act. You stop judging yourself. You start with that. I'm not talking about boosting your ego. I'm not talking about telling yourself, going into this selfish way. I am like this, or I am da 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 da, and I do whatever I want, and I don't give a shit about anybody else. I'm not talking about that type of a behavior. That as opposite, it's still the same thing. It's boosting the ego. I'm talking about letting go of the ideas and sinking back in here and hanging out with the being, spending time with your being, recognizing the presence here. And when your mind wants to go into the past in a story, oh, the, all this suffering, all this thing has happened to me. I've been so traumatized and I've gone through all this pain the mind wants to go to these stories because it has an addiction to it. Because it loves to play this tape, this video, this repeated broken record of poor me and all these things have happened to me and I'm so screwed up, I can't get fixed. The world is screwed up. At one point, you're going to have to give that up and come back here and accept yourself for the way you are right now. Accept yourself for the body you have. Accept yourself for the weight you have. Accept yourself for your color, the face, the looks you have, the age you're at, the education you have. Come back to that and accept yourself the way you are right now. And then you will see the power to that. Because when you start to accept yourself the way you are, there is power to it. And I'm not talking about power as far as manipulating people. I'm talking about power as far as greatness as far as elevation. Because very few people on this planet are capable to do that. Very few people are able to let go and come to terms with themselves for the way you are. And to do that is, this is the key. You need to, because it's difficult to just one day say, okay, I'm just going to forgive myself for whatever I've done in my past and I accept myself for the way I am. It's very difficult for a lot of people. You may say it, 
when the next day you're back into the rut, what you need to do is to recognize that your presence and your life and your being is an expression of the absolute. You are here because of God's will. You have to give this to the higher power because we as individuals don't have the power to fix it. You have to surrender it to the higher power. You don't like the word God? Presence. Use presence. The spirit. The living spirit. Universe. The presence. You are the way you are and you live the life you lived is because of God's will. Ishvara, the Hindu God, Ishvara, Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, Krishna, Buddha, Christ, Moses, Muhammad. Huh? That that which has created existence, that which is running the world, that which is the grand intelligence. It's been here ever since the ever since. You are an expression of that. I am an expression of it. When I do healing work and miracles happen, or I'm working on individual basis with people, or I do work workshops, group work, or individual work. I witnessed healing happen, people's lives change. All of a sudden their broken heart heals. All of a sudden their mental illness heals. Everything comes back and they become collected and centered and I can see that I did not do it I can see it very clearly something much more intelligent than me some much greater power operated through me and did that to them we surrender to that it's much easier to surrender to the higher power, the higher intelligence, and you trying to figure things out on your own. There's a lot of suffering in that. There's a lot of struggle in it. It's much easier to defer to God and let God to operate through you. and come back to your innocence. But in order to defer things to God and let God operate through you, you have to become quiet. You have to meditate. You have to spend time with the God which is inside you. And be simple and just be humble and just hang out with it. Feel the presence around you. And that's a big part of what we do here is to feel the presence that is here. Feel your own presence, the presence, one presence. And don't project it on anyone. Don't fall into this trap of projecting it on somebody else. That someone else is an aspect of yourself. Whatever teacher it is, an enlightened being, a guru, a high being, Christ, that's an aspect of yourself. You are experiencing yourself. You're experiencing the love which is here, a part of yourself. <laughs> 